for a read on uh, the state of the consumer, let's bring in Bill Simon, former Walmart uh, U.S. Uh, CEO, and uh, m might be former, but you've got contacts and connections all over the place. We know, Bill, is, is this, uh, was this surprising to you at all, the, the, the revisions in the current uh, numbers? Hey, good morning. No, not really. I, I think, uh, you know, it sort of matches what I'm hearing. Um, it's tough slog out there. The consumers battled through pandemics and supply chain shortages, and they're to the point where just the accumulation of of, uh, of news and and the you know the price burden is starting to uh, starting to wear on them. I think it'll be really interesting to see the detail of the report um, and understand what's happening with food, particularly because food's been a huge burden on on, on the consumer. And if uh, food inflation is easing, that could explain some of the uh, some of the revisions and and some of the myths this morning. <laughs> I guess the Fed at this point, if you were uh, to advise them, would you would you say that you are seeing the lag effect that we've been waiting for for so long with 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 the higher rates? And does this make you feel confident that uh, where we are right now, it, the the it is restrictive the, where interest rates are to the economy? Yeah, I mean, I think the consumer is clearly burdened. You know, after a whole bunch of years of you know low interest rates and then free money uh, through the pandemic, they're starting to try to, they're, they're, they're reaching a point where their uh, access to cash is limited. So savings are depleted, credit cards are maxed, and, uh, you know, there's an opportunity to inject some more cash into the system. Is it, in terms of who we're talking about, low income, medium, I, I guess luxury is, is holding up as it usually does better than most? Well, there's three things really going on. You know, the high-end consumer has the ability to trade down, and you, you see that. Walmart reported some of that in their earnings. You see Costco doing pretty well. They get a trade down from, you know, the super premium into into the more discounters. The the the, the lower end of the economy, look, they struggle all the time. Um, so the struggle's not new to them. And I think where the real difference is, where the real pain's being felt is in the middle of the economy because they don't have as much ability to trade down. M many of them, most of them are already shopping discounters, uh, trying to find the best value. And then it's sort of their cash becomes restricted and their ability to maneuver gets limited. And I really think that's where the pain is in the middle of the economy. Middle and lower, but we just had, you know, th that's the... Same people affected by inflation now, infected, uh, affected by the slowdown. They, they get they right. get it coming and going. It's not good. Right. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh.